Hello and welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Don with AWS and I'm joined today by Nagaraj with ITT Star. Hey Don, hey. thanks for having me here. You're welcome. Tell us a little bit about ITT Star. ITT Star delivers global solutions, uh, global software solutions with emphasis on digital transformation using data and analytics. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the, uh, the architecture that we're going to go through today. So this is an architecture that we built for, uh, this is a solution that we built for a luxury watch client of ours. They are in the business of brand and pricing guidance for wholesalers and retailers. Okay, excellent. So this is a, uh, a, a way that we can gather information, come up with pricing in a, in a market that's not, doesn't follow traditional supply and demand. Is Absolutely. That fair? I see that you have Amplify. Why don't we start from the left and go through the flow from a user's perspective? Sure. So we used uh, Amplify. Uh, the, the, the customers, the retailers and wholesalers use mobile and web application mm -hmm. to log in. So for that, we, we build the UI framework using Amplify. We, here, we, are, we have to authenticate. Not everybody can come in and browse the luxury goods. Right. So for that, we used API Gateway and Cognito for authentication. Okay, can you show us the flow? That would, uh, there you go. So users coming into Amplify, perfect. And so API Gateway being API serverless. Gate and serverless, absolutely, and uses Cognito to authenticate the users. Okay, and then as far as the flow, so in my uploading data, what am I doing in this uh, particular use case? Once authenticated, the users can do two things. They can either upload their inventory details mm -hmm. or they can post their inventory to the third party retail sites. Okay. So as they are, once they upload, the API Gateway again kicks in and the, the, the images are stored in S3. So okay. these are in the raw bucket. Okay. As soon as the images reach S3, a Lambda is triggered. Okay, and now what does that Lambda do? It's being triggered by a data event. What's the next step? So the Lambda takes the images or video that, mm -hmm. is, host, that is hosted on S3 and, uh, and invokes recognition. Okay. So uh, are you using custom labels with recognition? What have you done here to train it? What data sets have you fed? Can you give us an idea of the size? Absolutely. We used around 100,000 plus images of various luxury goods to train recognition. So it can identify various features, first brands, and even if they post accessories, we'll be able to identify it accurately. Okay, so this is a model that is extensible into lots of different markets. You might start with one luxury good and branch off into others. Absolutely, and for and we should also remember that every uh, item has multiple features. Mm -hmm. So able to clearly extract those features is, is one of the challenges we had, and recognition helped us solve it. So I see recognition, we have Textract, I'm assuming we're cropping images coming out. What's happening next? How does Textract fit in? Once the images, all the images are not like plain and simple. Mm -hmm. They come with a lot of uh, text, whether on the image or beside. So what the, the way we, we used Textract was to extract those elements and correlate it with the image. Excellent, so that sounds something novel. Is that, uh, is that something unique to what you've done? Absolutely, so we have to use many, uh, many uh, there are, there's a lot of logic that went behind this. First and foremost, we had to identify the geolocation of the text mm -hmm. within that image, mm -hmm. and then able to uh, correlate it with the image. And more importantly, identify what is that text mean. Right. right. It can be as simple as a brand name, or a model number, the, or any specific feature. So it sounds like that data, ultimately, that metadata is going to land in Dynamo, and it sounds like maybe there's an opportunity in the future for Comprehend? Uh, that, that, that's, that's correct. With Comprehend's capability of extracting entities and keywords with ease, we are definitely looking at Comprehend in the future. But as far as, uh, once the data is extracted, all the text goes to DynamoDB in the form of JSON format, and we made it extensible, both at the feature level, right. at the database level. That sounds like a very good design choice. So now in the future, if you decide to have additional features you want to extract, or as you get into a luxury market, a goods market that has lots of additional metadata or features, you're able to extend that with Dynamo. Absolutely. Thanks for sharing your architecture today. This is a very innovative use of both serverless and AI services like recognition. I appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. And thanks for watching.